Welcome back, Special Time fans, to the next Story Locked episode of Special Time with your hosts, Brandon. And Randy. And in the last episode, we were finding out some crazy shit about Dust and Cassius and Gin and Ginger and crazy gray eyes. His eyes are gray. I thought they were brown. I apologize. Apology accepted. And we are going to find out exactly yeah. what the hell is going on. What we know so far, on. Dust is basically a fusion. A fusion? Ha! Of two characters. One of innocence, one of power. What am I exactly? Who, or I guess, what am I? You are what my people call Sen Mithraren, he who is born of the dust, created from the essence of the life thread itself. They're playing see, God. My people have been on the verge of extinction for a great many years. General Gaius planned to eradicate us once and for all. And while our warriors are proud and strong, what chance would we have against such a powerful foe? To defeat General Gaius and save our people, we would need a warrior capable of standing against an entire army. This warrior would also need to be pure of heart, incorruptible. So that's why you picked Cassius and Jin. Just like you said, opposites. Exactly. Cassius is one of the greatest warriors this world has ever seen. And Jin's purity of heart would help guide our warrior to save our kind. From their fallen souls, you were born. Born to save us. To save this world. Hmm. Is anybody else thinking that this Grey Eyes guy might have had Jin and Cassius killed on purpose? So that he could do this? He's just a kind old man. I, his eyes are not kind. I don't think he would have any reason to create a super soldier that would fight for him and protect his kind. There's no ulterior motives here. I'm sure it happened by chance. I agree. Why did I only remember now? I didn't even recognize Ginger when I met her. Although I don't think he forced an assassin to assassin kill someone. But we don't know. Like, did Jin kill him? It could, I, I guess. It could be just one of those things, like, I don't know, maybe really? he's, like, way behind yeah, the well, scenes. Maybe the he's the advisor to General Gaius. The hmm? of two separate beings, but your body he's, and mind he's Moonblood. They're killing him. You will create a he's a wizard, though. So he can change his form. You memories of idle <laughs> distract you from the task at hand. Ah, so he did not have the memories of the previous souls. Ah. He kind of does, I guess. I had no idea who I was, what my purpose was. You say that, but in all cases, you did exactly what we intended you to do. You saved complete strangers outside of Aurora Village. You stopped our wayward brother Fuse from <coughs> destroying all that we sought to save. You saved Mudpot and brought the waters of life back into this land. You purged a demonic rage from this land, and even helped two old souls find peace once more. You may not have known your purpose, but that did not stop you from fulfilling it. And now I'm here. Yes, now you are here. And we can finish this fight once and for all. How does, how does Ara fit into this? Well, you're playing. Well, we'll do. We'll do a few. I'll just go top down. He sure. He said he was a moonblood, but he looks nothing like you. Yeah, he was like a skeleton face, dude. Fuse. He was once a fine warrior, and a close friend of Ginger's family. Well, he would help transport goods between this village and our camp with his fire powers. After the village was destroyed, I guess he lost his mind. He was horribly disfigured after the attack. The only way he could survive was in a special suit of magical armor that I helped to construct. He demanded we attack General Gaius right away, but I would not hear any of it. He would have killed us all in the name of vengeance. We would not have stood a chance. Truly, he was a brave soldier. Agreed. When he was sober. Ah. I refused to send our warriors into battle. He called me a coward and vowed that he would destroy Gaius with or without my help. I fear the very armor we made to save his life had corrupted his mind and body beyond repair. 
So it's your fault all those people died. If he if he just happened to find the soldiers instead of the town full of innocent people, then he wouldn't have seemed like such a bad guy. He would have killed them instead. Yeah. Poor guy. If only we could have gotten through to him somehow. We did. We did when we killed him. We did that Assassin's Creed mind clear talk thing. Yeah. No. Patent pending. Patent pending. There's no telling what damage he could have done. Ginger is right. Fuse was beyond saving. For all our sakes, <clears throat> I hope the same is not true of the world he sought to protect. Alright, I've got no more questions. No! Okay, how does Aura fit into this? How does the Blade of Aura fit into all this? What is it exactly? Who is Aura? Wait, no, the Blade's name is Aura? Yes. It is one of the five blades of Elysium. Ancient weapons forged when our kind were many. And the way of the flameless light was commonplace. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck is the way of the flameless light? Like his staff. The path we moon bloods continue to follow. It is a way of living, a way of oh. thought, that allows us to make use of a power both old and great. Magic without magic. Wait, do they mean moon is flameless light? I think that's what they mean. Probably. Because the sun is... Okay. I am so confused. Join, Join the club. Surely, as Nimbat Sword Guardian, you've studied the ancient doctrines. Yeah, you right. must know, in the event that the sword is summoned by its rightful owner, you are obligated to follow. I may have skipped over that chapter? I knew it. You haven't answered my question. The Blades of Elysium were created to guide their sword bearers, Darst. I was summoned to your side to ensure a balance was maintained between the souls within you. Hmm. Ah, my old friend. It is good to hear your voice once more. It has been a long time, Master. <gasps> Wait just a second. How can you possibly know each other? My clan's been keeping the sword hidden for over 200 years. Oh, shit. I knew it! Master Grey Eyes has lived for a very long time, each other. And people who live forever are evil! Or good. No! Evil! You were sent to keep an eye on me? I thought it was magic. He was a wizard, you said. To he is. I hope you reach your true potential. Nothing more. <gasps> My true potential of your evil plans. You must join us in the Moonblood camp to the north, in the Everdon Basin. <coughs> no, let's not. It isn't anywhere near the Everdon volcanoes, is it? They are one and the same, yes. We, we should remember being Cassius and kill everyone. Agreed. That is the only <laughs> logical conclusion to eliminate all people. Animals are imperfect. Animal people, only way to reach perfection is murder. Indeed. What a better place to hide than in the most volatile land in all the kingdom. Ah, uh, so their last base is at a volcano. Volcanoes don't explode every ten minutes. That is grossly misinformed information. Yeah. Your friend seems awfully tense. <laughs> friend? She's not my friend. No, we bone sometimes, but I mean... Come on, let's go to the blowy mountains. Really? I'm <laughs> sometimes, but I mean, come on. <laughs> Fidget, That's not you weird. To have more faith in me. <laughs> I'll have faith in you when you have faith in yourself. How about it, huh? Who are you? Oh, I am innocent, tempered with justice. I, I am a soul it. of power, tempered with vengeance. I am the evil that flaps in the night. <laughs> I am dust. I am. I. Uh... You see, you still haven't figured it out yet. A lizard guy tells you right to your face, and you still don't know. I, I was dust. Yeah. Fidget, please calm down. You mustn't I, think I don't think that answer matters. Yeah. I just... If I'm gonna follow you to the literal end of this world, I need to know who I'm following and why. You need following sex your pants. You're right. I can't ask you to follow and me. And you're doing it for the... Lulz. No, can. doing it for the little treats I give you. I just side for this entire journey. 
You have watched him save this world. How can you continue to doubt? How can you doubt us? I just don't get it. It doesn't matter who he thinks he is. He's done. That's who he is. That's who I know. And that's oh, where we said we were. Yeah, I didn't catch that. Someone was slamming a door. I said, I can't do this without you. <gasps> I'm sorry. I just... Nobody's ever said that to me before. It's because we love you, Bridget. It won't be the last time, I assure you. Are you ready, Mithrarin? I am. Mithrarin. I need you in the other dawn basin. Goodbye, Dust. We'll see you there. So, are we gonna get uh, Bone Ginger? Or? She's our sister. I, but it's a different body. I mean, your mind will be grossed out, but the bodies will make sense, right? I'm continuing this playthrough without you. <laughs> Ooh, shots were restocked. Good. That was a lot of talking. Ah, exposition. Juxtaposition. And more. General Guys? We killed him. What news, Commander? He's just he's a soldier, not the soldier. I don't know what to note, but Cassius is working with the moon plants. He has turned against us. No, it's a it's a plan. We're we're going to kill all of them as we said before. <laughs> yes. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. I hope he doesn't have his own name back. Wise. Our victory is assured, Command. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology, and we have the element of surprise. Can you imagine if among the Nimbats, uh, Fidget was the least annoying one. <laughs> <laughs> like they have their own. <laughs> so like he'd have a, the annoying Nimbat. Yeah. He'd be like, oh no, that's why he's evil. <laughs> the Nimbat makes him so angry. <laughs> why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? He's trying to grab a feel. Yes, he is. Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Yeah, I got a spear sword. Cassius, weird. my own friend. <clears throat> so long as you draw breath, I can do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. Bless you, General Guys. Is that... they call that a spear sword? Ah, uh, maybe. All right, uh, Brian, you want to take over at the Everdown base? Sure. Why the frig not, man? Wait, I don't know. Chapter five: Into the volcano. Legend. Hot top volcano. Stuff of legend. Help of people. Please don't let there be more talking. Oh, it's the moon blood. Ca it's so pretty. <clears throat> it is. With teleporting crystals. Do 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 boop. Oh god, there's lava everywhere. Huh. Who goes? Huh. It's you. Apologies, Miss Wall. Please enter. That's, of course. I don't like the way he's coming on to me like that. Just asking me to enter. So they're like dinosaur people. <laughs> okay. We tried to murder them, but we really tried. <laughs> Welcome your presence, said Mithra. Oh, oh. Preparations for war are nearly complete. More exposition. Uh, I assume this is all they have left. Uh, uh, we'll, we can, we'll go through it. Sure. Surely you have more soldiers than this. Nope. General Gaius is nothing if not thorough. His forces have exterminated most moonbloods from this land. We are all that's left. Why don't you just make a thousand fuses? How do you expect to win with so few soldiers? He went insane? And it would have killed them all. Yeah, but I mean, if they're all on the warpath, then it doesn't matter. If you're all ready to go... Well, yeah. this is where every single last one of them lives. But yes. I'm sure. You cannot. 
That's why we created Sen Mithrari. You and us will turn the tide. Only moons can do that. Uh, well, no pressure or anything. I guess. Yeah. I'll be safe here. Did you know the Gaius know of this place? Of course he does. That is not. I asked if we were safe here. Not. I fear he does not. If. Oh Gaius. no, we told him. In that cussing. One of our own has been keeping an eye on you since your travels began. A merchant, Sereth. <gasps> I knew it is Moonblood! You catch on as quickly as Vigil. So freely in the wildlands. He is a smart businessman. Because he, he has Assassin's Creed clothes. Guys' soldiers turn their gaze from him in exchange for free goods. However, no amount of bribery could cover up that Sereth was helping you to find us. Hmm. And that's how Gaius found out. How much time do you think we have to prepare? Not long, I'm afraid. The whole purpose of Gaius' campaign is to wipe us from the face of this world. Once he knows of our final stronghold, he will send everything he has and destroy us. Interesting. But we'll have to see how the rest of this Basil Exposition goes in the next episode of Special Time. Until then, I'm Brandon. And I'm Randy.